Hi, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. If you are thinking about going back to school or maybe you're getting your kiddos ready to ship off to college, you might want to listen up. We're talking to Kimberly Valenza with Upper Iowa University. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to learn a little bit more. And there might be viewers out there who aren't very familiar with Upper Iowa University. So explain a little bit to our audience about what you do. Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. So Upper Iowa University is a private, not-for-profit, liberal arts institution. It was established in 1857. There is actually a brick-and-mortar campus, which is in Fayette, Iowa. So it's a full four-year Division II athletics comprehensive university in Fayette, Iowa. Here in Madison is one of 25 academic extensions that we have all over the nation. Wonderful. So if you weren't aware that there is a Madison component, I think that's nice to hear that. And It is. Let's talk a little bit about a, sort of a typical student. Who's, who's going to Upper Iowa University? Well, going to Upper Iowa University as a whole is any student. You know, the traditional path uh, if you're attending Fayette, Iowa. If you're attending the Madison Center, it's a little bit different kind of road. The typical student for UIU Madison Center is more of a non-traditional student. Uh, that age can be anywhere between 22 and up. And it's for the people that maybe didn't start the traditional path, didn't want the traditional path, work, life situations came in the way. And what we do is we foster growth for them to keep them moving forward. So it's a wonderful atmosphere at the Madison Center. Classes are held in the evening from 5.30 to 10. And you can keep moving forward in seeking out your degree and the things you need in life to, to achieve. So that's what we're there for. Great hours for working folks to be able to get their degree without cutting into their day job if they're, if they're working. It is. It's yeah. wonderful, especially for families, uh, families that maybe are in shift work positions. Um, you know, you can do a kind of a tag team. If you're a single parent, you can work out having child care and attending at night. And it's more than just face-to-face -face education, too. You have the ability to come to the campus work with our staff and our advisors, get good information, tutors, the, the whole gamut. But if coming to the center doesn't always work out, there's online components, there's self-paced components, there's a blend of different ways that we can keep you on your path. Well, it sounds like a lot of flexibility for mm -hmm. different stories out there. One of the things that I'm always interested in is sort of what happens after. So you go to the school, mm -hmm. and, and then what? Do you have any sort of success stories? Oh, my gosh, I do. Actually, uh, one just most recently. So we also like to highlight our, our students. You know, it's, it's wonderful to highlight what they're going through, their challenges, student of the month. And in speaking to one of our students of the month, uh, this was an individual that has been in her career path working for the state for quite a long time, but she realized that she needed her undergrad degree to go any further. And she thought, you know, maybe, maybe it's too late for me. Maybe I've missed my time. Luckily, she gave us a call, realized that that wasn't the case. She did all four years with us at the Madison Center. Um, she just recently graduated, and before she took that path, she went to her supervisor, said, I'm getting my degree. She applied for this position, and because she achieved her degree, she was able to achieve what else she wanted out of life and her current job, and she was thrilled. It was wonderful. Wow, what a, what a satisfying success story. It is. Because that's the point, right? You it go is. to school, you spend the time, you put in the hours, mm -hmm. you spend the money. You do. And you got to get to the place you want to get to make it all come together. I love that. Uh, you, you talked a little bit about the financial component, so there's tuition assistance as well. There is. Because um, Upper Iowa is a fully accredited university, there's financial aid available. So there's all kinds of tuition assistance through grants, loans, and uh, we do work within the Madison community and we establish uh, corporate partnerships. So they're called CAP programs, so it's the Corporate Advantage Program. And what we do is we work with the Madison community and Madison businesses, and they provide tuition discounts once we partner up. They provide tuition discounts to their employees that want to keep seeking and furthering their education. 
Also, within the Madison community, there's lots of opportunity for scholarships and other financial assistance. Um, so there's always a way. Never think there's not a way. There is always a way. Wow, what a uh, optimistic viewpoint. And it's really nice to hear that there's a way to make it work if you're ready yep. to get back to school. Well, thank you. We got to go, but it was great chatting with you. It was wonderful to speak with you. Nice thank you. meeting you. And I'm sure if you're watching and you're interested in learning more, uh, there's a website and phone number listed on screen. Make sure you check them out. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks to all of our guests for joining us. I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Talk of the Town.